In this video I'm gonna show you how to create a custom badge for your WooCommerce shop in a way that it will display the text you would like it to display and the badge will be displayed on a specific date. For example, this text is displayed from May 10 until May 20. It will be displayed here or any other location you would like it to display and on the archive pages you can display it also in the location you would like it to display. It's a fairly simple hack, it's gonna take only a couple of minutes to set up, so let's dive in. Now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm gonna show you today, take a look at the description of this video, there is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child team's functions PHP file, or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your themes. So code snippet is a, another option but there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition for example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use Code Snippets plugin. So, I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. Next, give the snippet the title, for example, select dates, woo custom field or whatever it is. Now, paste the snippet here. And as I said earlier, take a look at the description of this video because there is a link to the post that contains a snippet. Now a couple of explanations here. First, this area here creates this badge text custom field. Give it the title and the tooltip text. Tooltip text is the one that is displayed here. Next, it's a start date field and the end date field. Those two here change the label if needed and change the description if needed. The description is displayed down below here. Next one, this saves all the custom field values to the database. This one adjusts the display logic on single product pages and the archive pages. And what happens here is that if no start date has been set up, but end date is set up, if I update it, and refresh the page, then this badge is displayed until May 20. Next one, if no end date has been set up, then this badge will be displayed until the end of times. If I set the start date, for example, May 12, and update it, now if I refresh it, then the badge is not displayed, but two days from now, that is on the May 12, it will be displayed until the end of time, or until the date I would like it to display, for example, May 20. And this snippet here sets the logic. Next one, this one here is needed for displaying the badge on the single product page. And pay attention that I have added the div class WooCommerce message here. This takes the default WooCommerce message box styling, that is this one here. If you need to change it, then add your own custom class here, for example, my text, save changes and activate it. Now if I go to the customizer, you'll see this is a text here. If I go to the additional CSS, add my text and now some CSS, for example, background, padding, margin bottom and done. So this way you can customize it as you like. But I like the default WooCommerce message style more. so. I'm going to leave it as it is. Next part is needed for the archive pages, that is for this one here. Now, a couple of other things to point out. First, you need to use hooks 
this one here sets the position for the single product page and this one here sets the position for the archive pages. Now where can you get the WooCommerce hooks? Just go to the Google and Google WooCommerce visual hooks. Open up this link here and you'll see this is a single product page. Just grab any of those hooks here. You see the position for this hook. If you would like to add it, for example, down below after the single product, just grab the hook, replace this part, save it, refresh it, and you'll see now it's down below here. Doesn't make sense though, so I'm gonna switch back. The same goes with the archive pages. Open up the shop category page hooks, grab the one you need and you're good to go. Now, one last warning, that is, if your team overrides the default WooCommerce hook, then most likely it doesn't work. For example, I'm using the Bloxy team, and as you see from the code, I'm using Bloxy team related hook. If you're a Bloxy team user, then take a look at the hooks location. There is a show WooCommerce hooks, and now I can use the team related hook here. If your team doesn't override default WooCommerce hooks, then these are the ones you need to use. Now, if everything is done, then choose Run Snippet Everywhere, Save Changes and Activate, and after that, every product has batch text, display start date, display end date. This one here is for simple products, but it works also with the variable products. If I open it up, it's also here. Can't get any easier than that, isn't it? Now this is the one way to customize your WooCommerce single product pages, but I have made a separate video which contains 14 useful hacks for your WooCommerce single product page. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at the video next. In the meantime, take care.